Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. We've got to introduce the players quickly because I need to show you something very, very quick. Up in the top, we have the blue player with the Jilly Vanilla. This is Fargo. And then all the way down in the south, we have the purple, none other than the USA Vanilla. That is Excal. Right, I already know the title of this video. It's Fargo versus Tractor. In this game, it happens to be called a backhoe. <laughs> <laughs> don't know in which countries you call it a backer, but this is basically it. It is um, kind of looks like a tractor. Also looks a bit like a JCB that we would call it in the UK. We have a brand called JCB that makes basically big diggers and stuff like that. And we are going to focus on this. In a previous video, I said if you place a scaffold over this, you can make it move and it can crush stuff. Now watch what Fargo does here. <laughs> Oh, man. There's a TNT right there. Ooh. Okay, this is interesting straight away. I didn't realize that was going to happen. There is a TNT there. It damages the Chinook. It's going to go inside of that building. Excal has gone for a double barracks build into one supply. He's got three Chinooks there. And yeah, in the game, I, I actually saw a clip of Fargo playing this. That's how I managed to find this replay and knew I wanted to commentate on it. Um, Fargo initially, I don't even think, realized what happened. I saw that he placed the scaffold over that tractor, digger, whatever you want to call it. And I saw that it ran over his worker, but it happened so fast on Fargo's screen because he clicks everywhere frantically. He initially grabbed hold of that TNT and put it on guard there as if to think that it was actually an Excal dozer running over his worker. So he, he like, didn't even realize initially what, um, what had gone on. <laughs> But you're under pressure. You're against the world number one player, which is Excal. Things like that are going to happen. You're going to be a bit panicky. It's a bit panicky anyway. I think Fargo just frantically clicking everywhere. We have technicals everywhere currently for Fargo denying these ranges. If you didn't know, by the way, Fargo used to be a StarCraft 2 player. I believe you went to one of the Ice Series events, at least one. Which is like a, a massive competitive LAN in the UK. Excal running around with his dozer. Technical shuts down a missile defender. Technical is taking damage though. And does go down. Excal really wants to get that oil at the top. He's made a war factory now. Gets his first V out. Excal trying to grab this oil as well. He's already got that one. Already got this one. He's repaired it to half so it can't be killed very easily. Fargo is denying most of the oils there for Excal. He grabs himself three. And now he needs to place down another supply. Excal does. He's collecting slowly with the Chinook. Tech RPG here. Fargo takes out the Dozer. Excal uh, had a bit of mismicro here. He's forgotten about his V. Runs straight into a tunnel and a building. That gets cleared. Excal is on flashbacks. Excal now trying to chip away at this oil, but it has been completely closed down, really. And yeah, mostly going Fargo's way at the start of this game. Fargo also trying to get this oil. That has stuff inside of it, because you can't drag a box around it. Although you can now, so you know it's empty now. If it selects. Fargo does kill another V, but he does lose his super tech. Yeah, he's well and truly cornered this position. Didn't want to lose this. I think if you give Excal a bit of room to breathe here, get a few infantry, get that barracks pump in and get inside of that um, take over that building, it becomes very hard to crack. So I like the fact that Excal has descended on that position very quickly and regained control. Excal now collected on two supplies. He's got double barracks. V's are pouring out as well. Nice and efficient so far there from Excal, but I think one of them is getting a bit low. Actually, all, all three of them there are pretty low. Fargo coming in with a couple of technicals. Oh, he does get another V, actually. He does get another one. Fargo now going back. It was pretty obvious that one was going to die. Might as well have clicked on one of the Vs, see if he can finish it. But Fargo now is down in the bottom right, capturing and destroying the oil down in the bottom right at the same time. Yeah, Fargo's done a very, very good job here at maintaining most of the map control 
and securing most of the ores for himself and still trying to get this one. I really like that. Whilst also getting his palace. It's quite some nice GLA play there from Fargo. Fargo does get that oil. The reason he was destroying it and capturing it at the same time is because he knows eventually Excal will get that back. Uh, so the two things he can do is destroy it and capture it. Temporarily take the money away from Excal by capturing it yourself. Nicely played there from Fargo. It's absolutely beautiful because he's going to shut the strat down as well. Yeah, that's really beautiful. He's taking out the oil. And Excal was about to push now with Search and Destroy. And that's the deadly push that usually comes in. Um, and it's still going to be pretty deadly. But without Search and Destroy, it is a lot weaker. Because now you have to get 20% closer to the technicals before you can fire. With the extra 20% range, you just annihilate everything, basically. So Excal taking out these barracks here. But the buggies are starting to come out. Fargo here with a load of technicals. But they are in a bit of a messy formation. And Excal's micro so far has been really decent. PVs are going down though. And yeah, Fargo behind this has actually killed that oil now. With even another TNT. So that was loaded with a TNT. He's killed another one. So Excal's economy isn't that great. But Fargo's main base also isn't that great. Okay, Buggy's repop. There's a Jean Mikel here as well. As far as I'm concerned, Fargo just needs to hold against this now, and it, he should be in a really comfortable position to win. I mean, it is Excal, so anything can still happen. But if he clears that up with the Buggies, he's remaking an arms dealer, dropping down a market on the right. Clears that up with the buggies and then settle into the game. Now you're on buggies uh, yourself and you've wrecked Excal's economy. I actually really like that position on this play so far from Fargo. Just a shame that he got wrecked by the backhoe in the beginning. Search and Destroy now deployed again. Fargo's really good at always going for the TNTs continually throughout the game. Is he going to remember now, while the pressure's on, killing the Search and Destroy with a TNT? A10 comes through. Goes for the safer one with the A10. Oh, that oil actually hasn't been captured by Fargo. So I think x realized that. Otherwise, he probably would have killed it. Excal trying to gain control of this little hill. He's got himself a to-do platform, got himself this building and that oil. This army is slowly fading out, but Excal is using that opportunity to push elsewhere. Excal behind this is still pumping out loads of Vs and missile defenders, as you would expect. That barracks is somehow still alive. I think Fargo should just click on it with that bunker now. But he has got a lot of things to worry about. Keeps himself one oil there. The John Mankell back in action. That oil's going to be captured again by another rebel. Sorry, another ranger of Excal. Yeah, Excal's making rangers again and actually flushed out that building this time. Shows how annoying that one barracks can be. So Fargo coming in now with a Toxin Tractor. The strong V, because it's about three. That building gets flushed open. And yeah, Fargo's got to deal with this um, oil in the corner once again. But now Excal's loaded that up with a few MDs. It might be actually more tricky. At least that barracks is going to get cleared. Excal behind this has got a strat. He's got his supply drop zone. Scudstorm being built now by Fargo. Wonder if Excal's seen this because he can unload that and laser lock it. Don't know if he'll even need to though. That tractor's taking enormous damage. Tractor gets stopped. You probably need buggies or multiple tractors 
to deal with that. I think uh, probably a couple of buggies here just on guard mode might chip away at it. Excal continually bombarding this right hand side though with an army of bees. There's buggies out now again with uh, the buggy ammo upgrade and these V's are getting chipped away. Fargo preparing more TNTs. That's something we've got to watch out for on a minimap. Rebel on a bike for Fargo. He's probably trying to click behind there, maybe. But it's not stealth, so I think it will get shot down. Yeah, not quite sure why he's making that rebel. John and in action. Building gets flushed open very quick. Not quite sure what that rebel is doing. Yeah, this TNT. Well, Fargo's floating 15k. Crazy guy. Doesn't have the refinery on the right, though. And this oil here for Excal is still in play. In fact, Fargo's getting um, all of this area cleared now. And Excal's building up all of the XP. If you're going to lose all of these tunnels, you might as well just sell them because you don't want to give Excal 100 XP per tunnel because that's what's going to happen. Oh, Toxin Tractor finally comes in and flushes that open. Excal is always pushing forward. Clearing all these tunnels, getting veterans on these Vs. Skid Storm is in play now. Bike is going to be sent to that oil once again. So Fargo's on one. He's got that oil now. He's actually on that one as well. So he's on three oils and about to be four. Whereas Excal is going to be on one and that's it. Fargo is collecting from this left side as well. He could be collecting from there. But I think he's just a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that's going on. And the things that he's got to do. Yeah, Excal getting ever closer to. Is that a TNT? Let's kick up some yes, it is. Excal's getting ever closer to level 5. TNT has been forgotten about. Kills a strap. Almost gets the supply drop zone. Probably could have got that. An additional power. Parker Cannon is in play. Another strat going to be built by Excal. I like those TNTs around the back. They deal so much damage. Taking out the strat in the drop zone. Or just the strat in that case. Really good. Takes out one ambulance. There's still one ambulance in play though. Triple A10 coming through. It's taking damage from the Stingers and the A10. Sorry, and the uh, quad. Yeah, that oil in the back gets taken out. Another TNT there from Fargo. Doesn't get anything done, though. Excal's still making the visa. Excal rarely gets the, the tow missile upgrade. Yeah, Excal has to worry about this Scud Storm. Fuel air bomb comes in. That's quite a decent hit. It's going to destroy quite a lot of stuff there. Indicating that Excal is now level 5. Spectre gunship. It's probably going to be on this position as well, whilst he also pushes in now with these. Excal wants to grab this oil now for himself. Expect to ship on this right side tunnel. But Fargo has popped from the behind the bunker one. The three Scud Storms up now for Fargo. Buggies are hanging around a little bit too long there. Excal pushes in and annihilates all the buggies, but there's another wave coming. Another, like, wave of five, I think, come in. There's a battle bus there as well. Excal makes his way into the base. The production there at Fargo now getting hit as well.
Excal not collecting from anywhere. Currently, he's uh, completely spent all of his cash. The TNT here from Fargo. That's not going to achieve anything. Leaflet comes in. Sable's a battle bus only. No in Fargo to that. I'll have his Jean and Kel inside of it. It's quite a valuable unit. Fargo has 10k. Particle Cannon is ready. Excal is losing Vs here. It's a bit of a scrappy fight. Particle Cannon comes in and it is on the Palace and the Arms Dealer. So Excal, rather than wanting to take out the super weapons, he wants to take out the production of Fargo and, be and beat him on the ground. Just let, let the Skid Storm fire, because that's going to fire regardless. Um, however, I don't think he can beat him on the ground, because even though he's taking out the production and I think the palace, there's still a decent amount of buggies out, and I think uh, Fargo's probably done enough to win. Where could that um, Skid Storm hit Launching for Fargo? Actually going to hit it into the main base. I don't know if it's going to kill that supply, though. It's not the best Skid in the entire world. But if he can kill, like, at least three buildings there, he's building up the XP. Oh, it's actually going to kill the, the A-10, is it? Oh, my God. The A-10 survives. Unless it's very low. We'll see now. Because I'm sure that, that that super weapon should have done damage to that. Nah, it can't be. It's not very low. That's crazy. Triple A-10 nearly takes out a scud by itself. Yeah, crazy that that survives. He did kill all of them buildings. So Fargo's nearly level five now. Backhoe is still alive, just in case you were wondering. Excal goes a little bit too close to that tunnel. He is taking damage. His micro and his weak V out of the way. Another buggy pops for Fargo. And he gets the V. Excal loses all of his Vs in this Vetsu quad. Should be able to clear things up there. He's getting laser logged though. One MD survives. Bit of mutual assured destruction there. Excal's still in it. He's building more and more power plants of all things. Does he need more power? Unit he's built lost. lots of powers rather than upgrading them, I suppose. It's... Any more All right, he's spreading the risk rather than having one strong power plant that he could get TNT'd. He's spreading his powers around. But Excal doesn't really have anything. He's got a few MDs that's producing from the barracks now, but that's it. Fargo probably has done enough. Just look at his base. It's well established. He's got the right amount of markets, right amount of skid storms. He is playing amazingly uh, this particular game. It is a potential matchup for the um, World Series Finals. I'll go against Excal. I think Excal has got a lot more experience in, in Grand Finals and Under Pressure and stuff like that. And consistently performs at probably a higher level. Will Fargo be able to take down Excal in the, in the World Series with such a performance like this? Or will Nerves get the better of him? And Excal has been defeated. Yeah, there was another Scud Storm coming in. That was a really, really epic play there from Fargo. Yeah, Fargo versus the backhoe. Fargo loses against the backhoe, but wins against Excal. GG, well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.